My latest lip filler appointment was two years ago and today we are talking about the most important points that you need to take into consideration before getting a lip injection along with real footage and my experience with hyaluronic acid fillers. Hello everyone, I'm Zurnica and this is Blissfully Random, a channel where we talk about everything practical and useful and today the topic is lip correction with a dermal filler. Just a quick disclaimer, the video does not aim to encourage or discourage you from getting lip injections. But if you want to get your lips done, these are the key questions that you need to answer or know about prior the procedure. What filler? Sometimes people would go into a salon or would choose a specialist without even asking about the filler or choose on the basis of what would be the cheapest and would last the longest. Serious issues here are created by the use of silicone oil which is not reabsorbed by the body and remains on bumps or gets encapsulated and cannot be removed without surgery. Hyaluronic acid is a linear, non-soluble polymer. It is one of the most universally available mucopolysaccharides, glycosaminoglycan, produced by every living organism except for the algae, seaweed. It is distributed widely throughout connective epithelial and neural tissues and in other words, it is naturally present in the body and it naturally dissolves or disintegrates naturally with time. How to choose the injector? Aesthetic correction is the art domain of dermatology, but to be a good aesthet, one should first be a good dermatologist. All artists use the same paint, but the results are different because each person has its own unique style. So before making an appointment for lip correction, look at pictures of the previous work of the injector. As we said, everyone has their style and you would gain an understanding of what the end result would be. With that being said, it is crucial to go to a certified specialist, a doctor in dermatology or a plastic surgeon to be sure that your procedure would be done right and safely. How much filler do you need? There is no right answer to this question as it depends on the size, appearance and initial volume of the lips and the desired results, the individual response of the body, the injection technique, etc. Although all lips can be improved in terms of form and volume, some specialists do not recommend using more than 2 milliliters of hyaluronic acid filler. That is 2 milliliters that are the initial injection to attain the form and volume and in the upcoming sessions the injections are only considered a maintenance. It is important to have several days or weeks between the initial procedure and the follow-up so the filler could settle, that is to adapt to the tissues, thus giving a realistic estimation about what is needed during the correction in terms of contour and volumes. Is it safe? Yes, if you use quality hyaluronic acid filler and if it is injected by a specialist. When choosing an injector, know that dermatologists and plastic surgeons are medical doctors who specialize in a certain domain of medicine. They have the in-depth and indispensable knowledge about muscles, nervous system, blood vessels and circulation, as well as fat tissues and thus which intervention will create what result. The risks of having filler injected by an unlicensed person which is an esthetician, for example, are related to injuring of facial nerves that could lead to vascular necrosis or necrosis of facial tissues and permanent damages. When will I see results? Lip correction is usually a process of more than one procedure. The initial results are different from the results the next day, which would be further different from the ones in the days ahead. Generally, you can judge what the result would be after about 14 days after the procedure. At that point, it would be a suitable time for a follow-up, if such is needed. What is the procedure like? The procedure is slightly invasive as there are micropunctures of the skin. Light bleeding is possible as well as bruises in some people. Later in the video, I will share some tips and tricks on how to lower the chance to get bruised. You need massage. Every morning or several times a day, you need to use a few drops of oil and to carefully massage your lips to help the filler get deep into the tissues and not remain all bumps at uneven places. 
Is it reversible? In case you don't like the result, you can dissolve the injected hyaluronic acid filler with a special enzyme called hyaluronidase, which is injected the same way as the filler and which will return the lips to their original appearance in about 24 to 72 hours. How long will it last? Even if you like your new lips, the results are temporary. Depending on the filler you have and its volume, the injection technique as well as your body reaction and the tissue's ability and tendency to resorb the filler, the results are expected to last between three to six months. According to new information, however, the period in which you can reverse the procedure is limited to 12 months after the injection and after that point it would be potentially permanent. This is how my lips look like two years after my last injection. Do the lips feel differently than before? In contrast to silicone implants and silicone oil, hyaluronic acid is naturally present in our body. It melts with the structure of the lips and if you did your homework and massage, there would be absolutely no thickening bumps and lumps. The lips are evenly soft and supple. With a lip injection done correctly, you retain your articulation and entirely natural feel. And here is my experience with lip injections. The goal was absolutely naturally looking lips, which no one could tell I had corrected, but lips that would allow me to wear dark or red lipstick, which are symmetrical and in harmony with my face features. And while relaxed, they were looking okay. When I talked, I used to purse my upper lip it curled inward and looked tiny. My filler. I already had positive experience with Nuvia Organic, so I wanted to have the same filler because it was a new generation organic filler with no side effects for me. Specialist. Dr. Narbueshi specializes aesthetic and laser dermatology since 2008 and she is also a member of the Bulgarian Dermatological Society. Process. In the beginning of consultation, Dr. Bueshi showed me images with real-life results that I can expect after each procedure and after the swelling goes away. We discussed the option for Botox in the nasolabial folds, but it would lead to a bit too strong relaxation of the upper lip and would get me further away from the desired result. Such injections are suitable for people with a gum smile. I have enough volume in my lower lip, but the upper lip is asymmetrical and considerably thinner, so the first step would be to get a nice contour. Dr. Bueshi explains that in order to get the best results, one needs to use fillers that combine plasticity and viscosity. If there is a predominant viscosity, more liquid, the filler would spill on the lips without creating a shape and if there is a predominant plasticity, thicker, harder consistency, hard areas can appear that look unnatural. I got a good amount of numbing cream and I was warned that I will lose sensation in the lips and tongue and that would make the lips seem even bigger immediately after the procedure, but that would be transitional and it will fade away gradually and fully. After about 20 minutes, the cream was removed and we proceeded with the injections. It is painful, but the pain is tolerable and way less than at the tip of my nose and you can judge by my eyes, which are not twitching at all. It is less painful than my semi-permanent eyebrows experience as well. Immediately after the procedure, my lips felt tender, similar to a sunburn and after a couple of hours, they swole and puffed. Ето ме 4 часа след процедурата и какво реално може да очаквате на толкова деликатно и чувствително място като устните. Може да видите освен луничките в горната част и няколко точици от обожданията. А тук имам една малка синина. Имам количество хиалуронова киселина и в долната устна, но е абсолютно... Част от мен. Не се усеща по никакъв начин, нито като бучка, нито като чувствителност тук, защото на горната устна, защото работихме, не аз, а доктор Боеши работи за контур и оформяне на устните. Има малко повече твърдост и изтръпналост, но утре сутрин ще правя масаж, за да се разнесе и отново, както казах, да стане част от моите устни, така както е на долната. 
72 часа по-късно или на четвъртия ден. Ето как изглеждат узните ми. Много ми харесват като форма, обем и естествено. Останали са само малко снимки. I had bruises only after my first session because I got my filtrum corrected as well. That is the space between the lips and the nose. Here. At night the body tends to retain water and my lips were significantly bigger in the mornings and they got less voluminous during the day. It was most visible in the first days after the correction and after a while it became almost unnoticeable. Recovery. The full recovery took me about 14 days until the small bruises faded out and about 4 weeks until naturally looking lips. Follow up. The first appointment was for correction of the contour and for creating lip symmetry. The second was to add volume. Ето ме непосредствено преди втората процедура. Ето ме на следващия ден около 28 часа, повече от 24 часа след процедурата, узните са много по-подпухнали отколкото бяха вчера, защото това е реакцията на организма. Събира течност, за да предпази травмираните тъкани. Този път нямам синини. Имам няколко точки на обождане, само на горната устна. Изглежда така. За мен това е твърде силен ефект. В момента отвъд моите желания, за това ще Изчакам търпедливо да спаднат и да получат естествения си размер и естествения си вид, към който се целя. 72 часа по-късно отокът е спаднал. Има още обем, който ще намалее. Не са болезнени. Все още правя масаж сутрин. Още няколко дни, докато започнах е уроновата киселина да се усеща изцяло като част от устните, по никакъв начин да няма никъде нито твърдост, нито оплътнение, топченца и така нататък. The third correction was about the final touches. I needed just a bit in my mid-section of the upper lip. Now, two years later, the filler should be fully absorbed in theory and I'm still pleased with the results. And it looks absolutely natural. Would I do it again? Yes, I would. For the whole time, nobody meeting me in person noticed or suspected that I had my lips done. You can see it when you watch my old videos and immediately after you play a recent one. I would have it in the same manner, discreetly. Can you get the same results with a non-invasive procedure, let's say a hyaluronic acid patch and ultrasound? Absolutely. Not. The said treatment is for intensive hydration and temporary lip plumping, but the results are minimal and last several hours to a couple of days. Tips to minimize the chance of getting bruised while getting lip injections. At least two days prior to appointment, do not take any aspirin, vitamin E, fish oil, these medicines and other dietary supplements that dilute blood. Take vitamin C instead, which strengthens the walls of blood vessels and reduces the risks of bleeding, in this case bruising. To not get the clips, do not put too much hyaluronic filler at once, in one appointment. Drink enough water. A single unit of hyaluronic acid can hold up to a thousand or four thousand units of water. With a constantly dehydrated body, the results of the correction will still not be satisfying. And lastly, don't skip massage. It will give you even lips without bumps. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel for more practical and useful videos. It was a pleasure having you here. I will see you again in my next video. Until then, stay happy and healthy. Bye. Thank you.